Scott Frost's status as the Nebraska head coach really has come into question after the loss to Northwestern, and it's easy to see why. However, there is one big reason that I don't think we're discussing, and it's not the fact that he struggled in one score games. It's not the fact that he lost to Northwestern. There's one thing that's really bugging me that we're going to break down, and it has to do with something that's hurt him in the past. We're going to start with the missed field goal because really that's what's something that's going to indicate what made this decision that Scott Frost made. So the missed field goal gives Northwestern a ton of momentum. And honestly, that is something that Scott Frost needed to take into account before he made the decision that he made. We'll talk about why in just a little bit. You look at what Nebraska was doing in the second half. Casey Thompson was a magician and, and had some big plays, led that to a, a score on that huge uh, highlight reel play. They then get a fumble to get the ball back. And then Anthony Grant just made a really nice run to put them up by 11 points. Momentum is shifting back to Nebraska. However, this is where Scott Frost makes a critical mistake. This is where he needs to understand what happened in the game before and how to utilize that. So the onside kick after, like we said, at halftime, we just missed a field goal. So we're going to go for an onside kick because we have four Northwestern players up on the front line here. We're trying to kick it to these this outside box here. You want it more towards the sideline than anything because that guy is so near the hash. Plus, you have three guys. There's not got one guy on frame out to their one guy. So you're looking at trying to get, especially because this guy bails, you're trying to kick it more towards the sideline. That's going to give you the best chance to be successful on this play. And it, really, it just comes down to, again, so Northwestern catches this on side kick. And as you can see, this is the reason why. You kick it more towards the bottom, and you're talking about a completely different play where you get the ball back. And because they don't get it, Northwestern goes down and scores, which switches the, all the momentum back to Northwestern. This is year five for Scott Frost. Had this been year one or year two, I might have let this slide. But this is the biggest thing. How do you not learn during the game that special team, or even over the years, special teams have been a major killer of your program in terms of struggles of winning one-score games or just winning games in general. You already missed a kick at halftime. You know that special teams are a struggle, and you just missed a kick not even half an hour ago. So how are you going to go back and make this kind of play, especially when your team has all of the momentum? I'm convinced that if if they don't try this and they just kick the ball off, Nebraska wins this game. So the fact that it's year five and Scott Frost is still making mistakes that should be fixable, that you should know as a head coach in year five, is the reason why he should get fired if he's going to get fired for something. Yes, obviously the the three and 21 record in one score games is tough. And some of the times that's just, you know, that's just tough luck. But this wasn't. This was a mistake that he should have known. And it, yeah, he did admit that it was a mistake that he should have he should have changed. He shouldn't have made that call. But to me, it's year five. You should know what mistakes you need to correct and what things you need to go back to. Now, if this was a game later in the season, then you try this onside kick. But this is week zero. This is when everybody is struggling. And I doubt that Nebraska tried this play in practice very often. So that's another thing. There's so many things that said, don't do this. And you already have all the momentum. That's a high risk play when you're up 11 and your team's playing fine. Your offense was playing really well. I thought that Casey Thompson looked really good. First half, obviously. Second half, not so much. The wide receivers are playing well. Anthony Grant was playing well. The defense was struggling, but still, you're playing a Northwestern team that you should beat. And so to me, the fact that Scott Frost hasn't learned after five years of when to back off of something and just rely on something else tells me that he's just not ready to be a head coach right now. He needs to go back to being a coordinator. So that to me is the reason why he should be fired. Uh, I don't, uh, here's the thing. I don't know if he will because he's at Nebraska because of the situation, because he is uh, the guy that used to play for them and had some success as a player that gives him maybe a little bit longer leash so maybe he toughs it out. Maybe they still finish six and six. That's really tough to see right now. But if you're going to fire Scott Frost, it's not because of the things on the surface. It's because it's year five and you're making mistakes that coaches in year one or year two are making. You just can't have that in year five, especially in week zero. You have to be mentally sharp. And, and you've been doing this for a while where you should know better. The fact that your special teams just missed a kick and now you're asking him to make a big play in a high risk situation that could change the momentum of the other team. They didn't score after this. 
Nebraska was stuck at 28 points. They didn't score after that. So that to me, you know, you could say hindsight is 2020, but to me, you just don't make those calls as a fifth year head coach. You just don't do that, especially in week zero with a special teams that's hurt you in the past. So to me, that is the biggest thing for why if you're going to fire Scott Ross is because he hasn't learned that he needs to take some of these decisions into consideration and some of the results that he's seen and things from the past, some trends and use them to his advantage. Sometimes in week zero, it's not all about being flashy. You don't have to do the craziest thing. Sometimes do the boring thing, kick the ball off, hope your defense gets a stop, or even if you give up yards, settle for a field goal, get the ball back, let your offense do the work. Work towards your strengths. Don't bank on something that hasn't helped you in the past until they prove that they can do something for you. 